Actually, if you want to go anywhere along that line there, see that blue and red line?
he takes it, spin, run off after him and get a slap in the ball. He can't knock the ball out, at least hear the noise and attack him.
there is good. If he holds it loose, if he's holding his stomach there, that's how strong I am. If, 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 if he holds that loose, the ball is going to pop out. If he holds it tight, I'm getting a press on straight away and he's knocked back. He's taking his sting out straight away. So either way, you have a bit of a chance there. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to put press on you and you're going to come back again. Each time. My job is to come in here and focus only on that and try and get one or both hands in and that you put hands in again and again and again. So you're ready? Go. zones here, you take two fellas, two, 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 and two in behind, we're going to work down that way, and then we're going to come back up, okay, off you go. Your aim is not to get 20 from zone, lads, your aim is to get three or four go between here and the end line, so two up, once two start going there, lads, another two can go, lads, there's more space over here, look, Another two here. One, two, get to the fourth line of cone. The next two you can go. Overdrive about that, like I will. Like I'll be on a high over that, and I'll make it let a huge roar out of me, and I'll make a big deal, give a fella a slap in the back. So you have to, this is like a teacher thing here, it's positive reinforcement. So you see some of the behaviors that you really want. Go, go to town and that, like make a big deal. He'd have all these different body parts that go flying, his arm would go flying out. So when you come to here, what's your name? Fion. Fion. If Fion goes to here, the automatic reaction is go gadget arm. Arm sticks out like that. So come out to here. It's that. Okay? And of course the problem with that is is that we're back to the same thing again. He's holding my arm, referee's looking, who's doing what. And as well as that, lads, my arm, like you don't want to have strong shoulders because you're going to end up being a dislocation which is not nice to be out for a year you don't want you want to avoid that so the thing is is that the important thing on the sheet that i put down is your footwork that won't happen go to here if i'm there so you're gonna be able to move your feet fast 
You can lower your hips because you don't need to be big. It doesn't make any difference how tall you are because the ball is there. So if you lower your hips a little bit and you move your feet fast, you're always in front of him. You want to be always in front. And then when your hands are close, it's like that. That's what we're looking for there. But it avoids this thing, this arm sticking out, which is bad for injuries and it's bad for tackling because a referee, most referees, go that way. Most referees automatically, straight away, free. So you can, that, that's because I'm not moving my feet. I did that, I moved that, because it's easier to move that than these. Go again. And even at that, lads, if I had no hands, go. Still can't get by me. I'm allowed to start it this way, but you've got to move your feet. It's obviously a lot harder than that, because if that was the case, no one could ever get by their man. Fellas coming at full speed is not easy, but you've got to be able to move your feet fast. Okay. Uh, Shane, or who's that doing the video? Craig. We're gonna, sorry, Craig. We're going to use this section here now. So if everyone goes over to the sideline here, every player needs a ball for this, lads. Yeah. Come in here, folks. Come in here for a second. Everyone needs a ball.
say a thing that had underage <laughs>
have them allowed.
Press all the way down. Oh, 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 did the whistle go? Okay, now the second you move. Come in nice and close.
Shoulders are back. Really great posture. Hands out in front. You drop the leg further back. Keep holding it, lads. And relax. Good. Switch the knee. Put the other knee down. Okay. Left knee is down. Pray and posture. Wait for the goal. What I want everybody to do, bring your back foot further back. Make yourself longer. Bring it further back. Here we go. Pray and posture. Posture, posture, posture. And go. Just going to hold it. Shoulders back, shoulders back. Yeah, there we go. Good. Excellent. If you want to progress the slides, they could be throwing the ball to each other as we go. You can throw it back to me. There you go. You start passing the ball along the line as we're holding. There we go. You can have that and throw it if you want.
Josh and Nutrient Club. Okay, what? And then we did what was A? Yeah. What things are we doing there? Balance. Balance. Balance, yeah. What kind of muscle groups? Actually, squads, yeah. We should probably do calves and groins as well, but maybe next day. Okay, what does D stand for? Right. What are we doing there? No, no, no. We did what? No. First thing we did? Acceleration. Jumping, yeah. Then we did what? Then we did. Okay, so obviously that's spread out across however long we're going here. But that can take just about 12 minutes. You just want people to know it. Boom, boom, boom. And you don't do all of them every night. Okay, I wouldn't do acceleration and max speed on the same day. I know I saw Kieran with the seniors earlier on. He had an acceleration day with them. Okay, just depends. You would pick one or two. At the end there, we just did a small bit of change of direction just to exhibit that that part of it as well. Obviously, we're not focused on that. Time is not. Time is not endless. Okay. But a small bit of reaction. Okay. Uh, we're not done. We have conditioning left. Let's get your recovery here for a second. Coach, what were the five things I did ask that we were going to ask as we went through? Did anyone write them down? I'll ask them again. Nobody wrote them down. It's already sorry. Go for it. What was the first one? Education. So education is important, yeah. But I said at the end of training, I was going to ask five questions about the five things that should be contained in an athletic development session. Was the player center? Are the players high Am I involved with me? You feel like you're involved? Yeah. You can see though. There you go. Good. Uh, is it inclusive? Yeah. Is it included? Yeah. Is it enjoyable? Yeah. That's what we're doing. I'm asking just the four conditions. Um, good. What were the other two? Challenge. Yeah, it's probably not too challenging yet. Is it pretty easy? Yeah, pretty easy. Don't worry, we'll get to the challenging part. Okay. And what was the fifth one? Really important. Like, what was the fifth one? Paddy Nine. talking. What? No. There we go. What do we say? The game should be involved. Now, the game isn't involved in a massive capacity, but there is a ball out here. You still remember that your football players, right? Kind of. Yeah. Okay. Great. Now, we're going to do one conditioning drill with the lads. Okay. I don't know which one we're going to do. Do you want to do aerobic fitness without the ball? Do you want to do repeat sprintability without the ball? Or do you want to do game-related fitness with the ball? Big mistake, but that's what we're going to do. <laughs> no, it's too late to pick. Okay. Uh, lads, I'm actually going to need the sideline. Okay, so if you go all the way to the fence, please. And if you do me a favor, when they run across here, make sure they touch their foot off the white line or else they're going to make them do it again. Okay, lads, in your two, you need a ball, a cone, and meet me on the far sideline. Fast, let's go. A ball, a cone, meet me on the far sideline. Let's go.
Okay, was that a small bit challenging? No. Here we go. We take we had to get the fifth box check. Okay. Um, so lads, when you play in the game, are you always making continuous long runs? No. Every single run is long. No. Well, what? Describe the kind of runs you make. Short and then sometimes long. Yeah. Can you see how that might be related to the game? Yeah. Okay. So the first set was kind of, how was the first set? Yeah, how was the distance? Yeah, small, there we go, it was small, then we lengthened it out. How was our intensity? On the, fir the first time we tried it? Cat, here we go. The second time we tried it, how was the intensity? A bit better, all right? Okay, so well done. Now, uh, where's Shane? Do I have time or am I caught? Five minutes, perfect. Lads, so what you're going to do, you're going to jog, you're going to bring the cones and the balls all the way down to the corner. There's dowel rods down there, and you're going to jog back up and bring, we're just going to demonstrate some technique, be nice and easy. Let's go. Yeah, You'll right. see, it's a wooden stick. Coach, just pull in quickly, please. Coach, just walk, yeah, come on in, so I don't have to stick a shout at the young fellas. Good. So in regards to that, we're just going to go over some technique from folks. So Matt, right? Does anyone know what Matt stands for? What's M stand for? Okay, A. Activation. P. Potentiation or prime. Okay. So kind of teach them that. So when they go back to their clubs, if they're in the county environment, or they could teach other fellas even. Okay, very easy to learn. They quickly learn. They go into school. Do my math. Okay, simple. All right. And in regards to the session, just small things, acceleration, max speed, conditioning, change of direction, really basic stuff. Okay. Now all we're going to do, we talked about the F4, which is foundational four. Does anybody know what the foundational four in regards to the gym are? Squat is one, two is, three is, push pull. There we go. Okay. Lads, have any of you done squat before? Put two hands up if you have. Oh yeah, we're in good ground. Has anybody done hinging or RDLing before? Okay, has anybody done push-ups before? Great, has anyone done chin-ups before? Okay, so we don't have a chin-up bar out here, so we'll do bent over rows. So what we're going to do is going to teach four exercises, um, and I'm, I'm just actually going to take them through it as I would if I'd never met them before. Okay, so in regards to when I coach a new group, the brand new thing, I don't actually over-coach the technique. I actually line them up straight away, and I just start telling them to do it, and actually just let them kind of figure it out. Okay, that's why we have the dowel rods. Okay, we have one per person, let's yeah. yeah. Ideal. Someone got out of not having one. Okay, so in regards to that, like, I think we have to be confident in letting 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 year olds, when they are practicing the technique, not over coaching them for the first couple of weeks, let them kind of figure, figure their body out and figure the movement out. Okay, it's very, very, very important. Okay, so that's what you're going to do. You're going to jog down to where we were for our split squats, half knee on the 13, half knee on the 21. Here we go. Jog, lads, let's go. Just two lines. You can stay a bit closer, just make sure you have space. Come up! Keep the bar 
at least three or four people well done let's go 
That's it. That's all I'm going to do for me. We're going to give a proper well done. Man, stop. Oh, just can we give the players a round of applause, please? That was excellent. And lads, hope you'll or come visit me in Cork, maybe you can train us. Hope you let me come back up. But thanks a million. You're obviously doing great work because you know all the stuff already. So excellent, excellent work. Enjoy another great football session here now with Conlet. Okay, uh, coaches, uh, we might have to go right into the next one. Depends on the shape. If I'm around all day, I'll be here watching Shane or Conlet as well. Um, so if you need questions, one to one or group after Shane, just let me know which way you want to do it. Yeah. Well, that's super. Um, so thanks very much to the 15s. That you are done. Um, and then I've layered it up. And for me, like all the sessions, it's been layers. You start off with the basic, and then you layer it a wee bit, and then you add the tackling into a bit of shooting, then you add the shooting into shooting and defending, and you layer it up that way. Um, in some of the games, you're thinking about creating space, and then chaos in the forward line. Um, and then there's some of the things where there'd be a fun element, but a serious point. And it's all around forward play and shooting. But I don't really like the term forward defenders. I prefer attackers. All right, because your defenders attack. All right, then your forwards will defend. So everybody will be in this, and they'll shoot, they'll handle, they'll kick, whether they're defending or attacking each way. And some of the things, we'll do a wee bit of work, a wee game around the, the mark. You know, the mark's something that's come out, and everybody hits. And but it's such an easy score. There's one or two easy scores in the game through a mark. And if you take the average last year in the knockout championship, that GA stats man had it. It's 2.1 was the average winning margin throughout all knockout championships, all right, from quarter final onwards. So there's two points to be had. One of them's a mark, you only have to find another point. And then the other big thing is that near the end, and you maybe have to go through, you might take more from the nerve. Um, maybe my wife fell out, a big rush home. So <laughs> that's true, that, that's true. <laughs> and the other thing is, we measure everything today, everything's measured, all right. Tell me what we measure as a team. Tell me, shout, shout, shout. Points. We measure scores. Yep. What else do we measure? Performance. And how do we measure performance? Touches on the ball. We, we measure GPS distance. We measure weight. We measure the amount of calories players are taking, what they can squat, what they can bench. You know, everything's measured. And if you look at two points with an average winning margin in a game, and in terms of in a game, there's one player more important really than anybody. For me, who is it? Who? Free taker. All right. We're measuring everything. Yet, as a team, as a group, as coaches, the free kicker goes with a bag of balls and he kicks on his own for 10 minutes and he has to take the biggest pressurized kick in the game and we have done nothing to help him. So at the very end, we maybe do something that looks at free kicking under pressure and under heat. Because the one thing you have to try and develop, for me, is how do you get your free kickers to hit under pressure? Because if you can replicate pressure in training, then it just makes it better in the game. So before we go, boys, any questions before we get into it, please shout, I'm telling you, there's, uh, there's nothing won't be off, off bounds. We can wait to the end. Yeah, so just where we're at, Stay close boys, stay close till it, don't stand away out, stay close in and I might ask a couple of you to help out with some of the drills maybe, uh, if there's good hands. So, are the boys ready do you think? Yeah, yeah, I think so. yeah. So yeah. we're yeah. going to start at the top and kind of work our way down here and then into the middle. Sean, Johnny. Yeah. Yeah, 
You just try it and get as many touches as you can. All right, that right. Talk a lot 
forwards know where to go. Next wee drill, very basic. It's like something you'd do at primary school. Yet it's so easy that we find it difficult as players. So, just down into the wee grid here, boys. What I want is players spread out between the two greens here, the two yellows at the back. Greens, greens, green. Yellow, yellow. All right. Now, just this is the only ball. Everybody set the ball out. In session, during warm up and stuff, I have a thing where you'll train your boys. 80, 90, 100 touches during warm ups. Okay, which is great. But there comes a stage in training where there's only one ball and you have to protect it. Okay, you're only going to touch the ball in this wee segment. If you get three touches to the ball in this time, that's magic. Alright, Conor Callahan got man of the match in an All Ireland final. Okay, he scored 1 3 out of how many touches? How many touches? He scored 1 3. Man of the match, All Ireland final. Many touches. Was not good. But, <laughs> ten, nine, seven. eleven touches of the ball. The best player on the pitch got eleven touches of the ball, contributed one three. So it's not about being on the ball all the time, but it's about every time you're on it, make a good decision. So you have the green area, green area, okay, red zone. All right, give me one defender in the red zone. All right, one defender. Me and you, we have to get through that red area without you touching me on the ball, touching him on the ball, or us going outside the pitch. Like, how easy is this? Simple. Draw the man, you flick it across. Simple. How many times in a row do you think they're going to get through this? Wait, 
So this for me, I would call this to be the primer before going to the session, whether it's a game based on a lot of the stuff. The other thing is, I'll just let it run, there's one thing they're not doing. Alright, let's go. That's it, no, put you in the middle. Rubbish pass, has to be flat. Ready? That's the one thing. Back your shaft, was that all? Good, two, four. Three, yes, brilliant. Stop the momentum. Four, stop the momentum. Five, good, come on, make it stop. 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 Come on. Come on, pick somebody. Pick somebody. Pick somebody. Good, that's it, you got a head on. There you go, brilliant. You made it stop. Now, as you move on, boys, three, come in. That's okay, that's enough of that. Push. If you can keep up the air in that hole, that is so simple. You imagine now, you double the sides, you put in an extra zone, so you have a defender in one zone, zone out, defender another, 3v1. Always start of a solo, and let go. Alright, remember, four steps, give it, four steps, you're through the other side. Okay, now, next bit, be very simple as well, but it's still part of the prime and moving in that we're going to do a wee bit of shooting. Like for me, everything starts and finishes with a shot. Alright, if you get better at this, the game just becomes a lot easier if you can score. So, what I want is all the balls with the boys. Let's get down in here, just follow down the outside of the team. A lot of work needs to be done on it. Oh, I know, but we're going to close. Hi, I'll be Go round 
the side side, round the outside at pace. Round at pace. Check on the move. That's it, check on the move.
your point of view. What was different between the first and the second groups? No, just wait a second. What was different between the first and the second group? Intensity, urgency, focus. All right. And it goes back to that first drill. How come the first group couldn't do it like the second group? It had nothing to do with ability. The timing was the same. The conditions, the game was exactly the same. But yet, two teams took the same instruction and done it a wee bit differently. And it was down to the fact that it was half time. They could rack it up their ass. First, you only scored three points in the first half. You have to prove to win the game. Suddenly they get seven points. And for me, the magic of coaching is not about setting out cones in. It's about how can you get this player to be five, six, seven percent better on the on any day. And it's not a physical batter, it's a mental batter. Now, when with space like this, it does take a lot of cones. I'm just gonna do something very quickly. I hadn't it planned, but I'm just thinking we're off pace. When you have something like this, we'll have a go. So, thinking of something different, let's go, everybody! In to the square, board defender, white square. Let's go, one ball, board defender, match up blue and red. Oh, the goalkeeper's there. Keeper's in. Keeper's in. Right, boys, so, look, so look, see the outside, look, this, who's forced you up? Forced you up? All right, now, see the outside of the square, okay? You're outside it, now. Around that semicircle, any stage you want, but the minute you cut in, it's game on. You beat him, you score a goal. Okay? Now, you have to stay outside with them. The minute he cuts in, it's game on. Right, you understand that now? Right? So the forward goes to the outside, defend him inside. You can't touch him until he's inside that semicircle. Alright? So, I just explain it. So, appreciate that you maybe can't hear that. So, in the game, the game semicircle, the forward's going to be on the outside. He's on the inside. So, when all this stuff was chemistry, one on teammate, teammate, now it's on the serial. Okay? There's a winner and a loser. Alright, the defender has five or six seconds to stop him. Forwards five or six seconds to score. He scores, he's won that up. The defender gets him, he's won that. For me, in training, you have to try and make it. Yes, fun, absolutely. But at all ages now, I say I'm under 12s. Winning and losing has to be important to you. If you tolerate losing, the shooting drill, or the tackling drill, or the way you run at the end, when the game gets into that melting pot, and you're a point down, or you're a point up, you'll not howl out, and you'll not push on. Winning and losing in training has to be a thing for me. Alright, so it's one on one. Okay, so, you can cut in anywhere. You're working with a defender, so it's actually a 2v1. Five seconds to beat him, and score. When you hear a whistle, you're gone. Okay, so where you go? He's in, he's in, he's in, he's in. One down. Let's go. You're only going to get one go each. I'm standing, I'm standing, That's I'm it. Standing. That's it. That's it. Use your gun. Use your gun. Next man. Use your gun. That's it. You hold him up. Let's go, let's go. He's in. Good composure. Let's go. Good composure. Left foot. Now. Left, what do you know? Left foot, he's gonna wanna cut it. Job done, where you go? Only gonna get one go. First touch, gone, you're gone, let's go. Execution. He's in. Ah, lovely. Now, man on the red, you're starting with the ball. 
Use of no ball. Jay, when he goes, you go. When he enters the circle, you enter the circle. If the conditions isn't right for you to enter, and he comes off your shoulder, give it to him. No big sense. This is chemistry. He's in, he's in, he's in. Let's go. Give me another two over there. Quick, quick, quick. Another couple more, more times. That's it. Another two going. Both starting with you over there. Both starts this side. Ready? No. Camera straight. Camera straight. He's in. He's in. Game on. Back in again. In. Long line. Let's go. Brilliant. Now, if you want to layer it up a bit more, what else can you do? Brilliant. Okay, now, 2v2. Okay, give me a defender at the post. One defender at the post. Alright. Now, use the ball. Use the ball. You're not allowed to enter the play. Well, I blow a double whistle. So when I do this, it turns into a 3v2. Okay, ready. Let's go! See him defender! this, alright, do me a favour boys, gather up them circle, just give me a couple of men, just gather up, next time, just now, they're a wee bit tired, a wee bit heat, so I'd always try and have something banging 100%, especially coming up to game week, and then layered up with something a wee bit lighter, so, this one here boys, if I can ask you all to go back, just behind the two yellow cones, the 45, alright, Yeah. 
Now, if, for example, you get that pass like that, what do you think happens in this drill now? You run here at the ball, you run in, hard as you can, and you wait the next pass. No, no, you wait the next kick. So, in this wee drill, it's fun, there's a winner and a loser, but the serious point is this. The check pass has to be good, the catch has to be good, and the execution. Okay, boys, we're only going to run it for one and a half minutes. Every single man that an option, give me the ball. Look at the size of the pitch, the first two men. Here. Yeah. 
Push out to where? Push out to who? Push out for why? Alright, so you can have a man in the day. Lovely central. Keep the thing ready. Next thing the goalie or cornerback says, push, push out where they're holding the ball out around there. And he feels all the pressure and he pushes out. Next thing the ball's popped in. So making sure lads, when you say something, that you all know what it means. Okay? So if I say, head up, head up. Five calls maximum. So the kickouts, if you have any more than two or three kickouts, it gets lost because people can't understand what more than two or three commands at a time. Alright? So, get in, we're gonna run two more games, boys, and we're out the gate. Alright? But let's talk defenders and forward. Not the first time you recycle, recycle, recycle. Alright? That was good. Last two. Alright, Kayla, where you go? 